Hello, everyone. I hope you are doing great. In today's class, we're going to continue talking about IELTS listening tips and, of course, the mistakes that you should be avoiding. If you haven't checked the previously made video, please do it now because today's video is the continuation of that one. So, if you are Ready? Let's get it started. The first item, actually, that we should be starting with is about leaving blank spaces. It is suggested to candidates to avoid leaving blank spaces in their answer sheets. Why? Because you don't lose marks or for wrong answers, that means no negative marking is there. So you can make a guess. Secondly, on leaving blank space, you might write the right answer at the wrong place. This will surely lead you to lose marks for the ones that you have understood. Maybe your guess is right and you gain marks for that answer. And finally, you wouldn't lose anything. So it's better to make a guess rather than leaving blank space. The next item is about transferring answers on the answer sheet. Remember, you will get extra 10 minutes for transferring answers from the given sheet to the actual answer sheet. So, it is advisable to use those 10 minutes in the right way because I see that a lot of students uh, try to daydream when it comes to uh, transferring their answers. It is very important to be so careful of doing that. Students often uh, try to shift their answers while listening to the audio. The audio is played only once, so in order not to get distracted from the audio and at the same time get confused in transferring answers at the same time, it is advisable and recommended uh, to do that at the end of the listening part. Number nine, choosing without listening to whole passage. When you listen to the audio, you might feel that you know the correct answer without listening to the complete part and immediately marks it as the correct answer. But wait, because it might be a distractor or maybe the complete audio part provides you with more information or the specific answer for the question. So the best suggestion is to listen to the complete part before jumping into conclusion. The next item is about not being familiar with uh, different types of questions. You might find difficulty in giving the right answers for the particular answer type, like reading map questions. If you are unfamiliar with the question types, then it will be difficult for you to get the desired band score. The best solution is to practice listening round as much as possible and to learn the skill on how to tackle each question in the right way. So if you like, I will make uh, great videos in that regard so that you can practice the test uh, with me. And I just want your subscription in order to be that much motivated to go for it. Please make sure to hit that subscribe button so that we can go further and have those kind of videos uh, made for you. The next item is about poor note-taking skills. Note-taking skills matter as they provide you the basis to answer the questions correctly. So while taking down notes, always look at the key points and not uh, the complete uh, sentences. Writing the main ideas uh, need to have a clear handwriting as well so that you will be able to understand what you yourself have written during the listening period. And the next item and the last item that I've chosen for this video to be discussed is about uh, forgetting to revise the answers. Revise your answers before handing them over to the examiner. Always check for misspelled words, grammatical errors, whether the right answers are in the right places or not, and so on to ensure the desired score in the IELTS listening exam. I hope you have enjoyed this video as well. Please make sure to subscribe to this channel so that I will make much more detailed videos in that regard. See you soon and bye-bye.